Hello! How's everyone doing this Sunday? My name is Kim. A lot of you watch my live videos and see me do projects, but today's I don't have a project that I'm going to do. Today I'm actually going to call this Starter Sunday. So this video is to show you the things that you need to start a project. It's about 12 different items. Don't get freaked out that it's a lot. It actually, a lot of the things are just good to have, but I want to walk through them with you. I'm going to try to do this quickly, but I'm also going to try to explain to you why you need them. So the first things first, you have been on the Chalk Couture website, you have looked at the transfers, you see transfers that you like, but you're like, what do I need to actually do this project? You just do it online, you just do it and you have everything, but what do I need? So this is what it is to help you make your first purchase or to help you um, understand a little bit more about all the things that I use when I am doing a project. First things first, you found your thing. You've, so you found, your, you found a transfer that you like, but you also have a surface. The surface can be a chalkboard surface. This is a chalk couture surface. This is our Grayson board. It is nine by 12. It is a very nice surface. It um, is what you can chalk on. It's a chalkboard surface. You can do that. You can chalk on glass, mirrors, metal, chalkboards, walls, pretty much anything. And it's awesome. <laughs> so you have your surface. The second thing is wax. If you have a surface that is not purchased from Chalk Couture, it's not a Chalk Couture surface, you want to wax your surface. Chalk Couture sells wax as a paste wax in these little tubes. You want to keep these away from your children. They're very, they're very similar to chalk or to um, chapstick and you don't want your child saying, Hey, look, I used the new chapstick, which is paste wax. You just don't want that. So anyway, say this is not a chalk, it is, but say it's not a chalk couture surface. I would want to wax the whole thing, <clears throat> rub it around with a cloth, and then I want to let it sit for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, I want to take another cloth, clean cloth and I want to wipe away the wax. And I want to let it sit and cure for 24 hours before I do my project. So wax is number two. Number three is your transfer. What transfer are you going to use? Chalk Couture offers a wide range of sizes and transfers and a wide range of designs of transfers. So they are labeled as A, B, C, D, and E. So there's five different transfer sizes. The first one is A. This is a five by seven transfer. It can come as the whole transfer being the image or it can come where it can be broken up. If you see the little lines, it can be broken up into little pieces. This is the A size. That's five by seven. B size is either, am I holding it the right way? can be the same thing. The whole thing is either the transfer or we have where it can be little pieces. And this is eight and a half by 11. Same thing, you want to cut that up. This is our C size transfer. Same thing, a, lot, a bunch of little pieces cut up. This size is 12 by 18, where we have them where they come the whole design. Then we have 18 by 18, which is our D size transfer. This is a buffalo plaid transfer or design transfer. This was very popular around Christmas time, but I've seen people use it for the spring and they do different colors. Uh, like the like a pastel pink or blue and then we have it where it also is a bunch of different little ones broken up but they can be mixed and matched if you see the lines you can mix and match so this one is 18 by 18 and then this is our largest this is the e size transfer this one is 18 by 24 so this one design can be done all in one color you can do multiple colors I I've never done a video where I've shown where it's a multiple different colors and there's a technique to do and so it's where you put the paste down and you peel and then you lay it back down. Um, then we have where they also break up into a bunch of different pieces. Many of you know me that my that the vintage truck is one of my favorite things. I didn't show that one to you because I feel like I show you that transfer all the time. But that's an E-size transfer and as you know it's a bunch of different little pieces. 
This is one of the alphabets that we have, so obviously these will be broken up into different, into little multiple pieces. All right, so that was number three, I believe. Let's get these out of the way. Okay, so we have our surface, it's been waxed, and we have our transfer. Now we need paste colors. Paste colors are a wide variety loads of different colors, over 30 different colors. Three of those colors come in an eight ounce jar. There are the more common colors like white and the black and then the gray, which is gray storm and black is midnight black. So, or sorry, black velvet, sorry, not midnight black. Black, not midnight is the blue color. Um, so black velvet, um, the bright white and the storm color all come in this eight ounce jar. The majority of them come in three ounce jars, but I will tell you that I have had a lot of these colors since September. They're running low, but they last a long time. So if say you open your paste that's been sitting on the shelf for a month or so and it starts to dry, all you would need to do is spray it with a few spritzes of water, distilled water. Um, so let's see, I don't know if this one's like that or not, but this one just really needs to be stirred up. It looks like it has enough, but I would just spray a couple spritzes of water in it. And then I would use another one of my numbers. Uh, the, this is called a stir stick. Chocotor sells these in packs of 24. They're awesome to have because you stir up your paste with them. And you want to make sure that your paste is like the consistency of yogurt or sour cream. So you don't want it too thick because it'll dry really fast and you don't want it too thin because then it might seep underneath the edge of the transfer. So we have our paste and we have our stir stick. So that's that four or five. <laughs> then to put your paste on the transfer, you could either use your stir stick, but you're gonna need something to spread it around. So we have our squeegees. This squeegee is our largest squeegee. It's the four inch handled squeegee and it's really nice to use with the buffalo plaid. Um, like transfers that are big like this or even if we did the garden one in all one color, it would be great because it's just, you put the paste on and then you spread it around and it goes around a lot faster than just using the little squeegees. We have our multi-tool. This tool is nice for helping stir up the paste too. It goes and gets into the, if you haven't used the paste in a long, long time and you're really trying to stir it up, it has this angled edge, so it helps get around the corner of the jar. Like when it goes in the jar, it goes around in the in, on the inside. It is, it doesn't really bend, but then it is flexible in the end. So this is a little mini squeegee, teeny tiny squeegee. And this would be perfect for, say if you had um, a transfer like this, it just makes it easier by, if they wanted to do this grandma is in purple and, so, and everything else is in white. And that would be easy to spread the spread the paste on that. So this is our multi-tool. Then we have the small squeegee, and then we have a mini squeegee. The mini squeegee comes in comes in a pack of twelve. So you would get twelve mini squeegees in your pack if you ordered them. But they're about the half the size of a regular a small squeegee. There's another squeegee called an angle squeegee, and I don't have that in my possession, but. There's also that, and you can find all of the squeegees underneath the accessories in the, uh, on the website. So then we need to have a fuzzing cloth, whether it be a regular kitchen towel or this is Chocotor has just, just came out with these fuzzing cloths a couple months ago and they're awesome. They have a little, a little, um, thing that you can hang on like a little hook wherever you put all your chalk stuff. They are double-sided. There's a more of a smooth side on one, and then there's more of the terry cloth, which is still smooth. Um, mine needs to be washed. You see I have a little bit of red paste on there. And it's already been through the wash. I've put this the wash, and so they're washable, um, but they're nice. So you wanna fuzz your transfers before you place them on your surface because fuzzing is like when you have a sticker on your shirt and you take it off, it has a little bit of fuzz on it. But I wanna show you why this, I don't know if you can see, but if you look closely, and actually you can right here, you can see that on this one, this is an old transfer, they don't even have this anymore. But one of my very first things that I did was this one, and I did not fuzz it enough. And it left a little bit of adhesive on the board. That's the reason that you wanna fuzz. So 
that's that. Um, okay, scissors. They are good to have if you have a transfer that needs to be cut up. So be cut on the lines. The lines are guidelines are there so that you know you don't cut too close to the design and you have enough area to spread your paste around when you have it into smaller pieces. Then you're gonna want a Sharpie. The Sharpie is to mark on the back. Once you cut apart your designs, you wanna make sure before you peel it off that you put the name of what the transfer is. Say this, I'll put Life's a Beach on the top one. On this one, I would put Seahorse. Seahorse and Life's a Beach are very similar in size. So after I clean them, and when I went to go put them back on their, their backing and store them away for the next time that I wanna use them, it's easier because the backings are already labeled. Um, oh, the la last two things, a water bath. This is our container. This is just the container for a water bath. It's small. I got this at the dollar store. Um, it is just a plastic food container. Um, it's pretty durable. I've used this a lot, but you'd only need like a teeny tiny bit of water, really teeny tiny. And it's good for me taking and putting my stir stick in there in the water. Um, when I'm done with my squeegees, I just throw them in there so that they can soak. And when I take my transfer off, I just put it down into the water and let it sit and get the paste loosen up a little bit. And then I'll wash it off. And after I wash it, this is the last thing that you want are um, disinfectant wipes. The disinfectant wipes are just regular cleaning wipes. And what I'm gonna do is I would just, sorry, I'm throw all the way down to the bottom. Okay. But I would just take a disinfectant wipe and after I take it out of the water bath, I do one side of it and then I do the sticky side when I want it to, and I let it dry. I want it to dry sticky side up because if it dries sticky side down, it's gonna stick to the surface that it's on and we don't want that. And the disinfecting wipes help with the adhesive on the back because it removes all the fuzzing that you just put on when you fuzzed it. So that's it. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Again, my name's Kim and I am happy to help you. Have a great Sunday, everybody. Bye.